Michigan State leading the Big Ten has not lost a true road game all season. But on Tuesday night, the Spartans facing their toughest true road test at Purdue. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. Let's bring in our CBSSports.com college basketball columnist Gary Parrish to break this all down. And uh, Gary, when you talk about these two teams, you're talking about very good basketball teams, but you're talking about a couple of squads that have missed a couple of key components. Raymar Morgan, Robbie Hummel. Which guy is more crucial to his team? I think Hummel probably because I, I don't know that Purdue is as talented as Michigan State. And, and, and Hummel is, is to me, very clearly their best player. I know he might not be statistically. Um, he, his back has given him problems. And I know he played the other day, but he was ineffective, uh, missed more shots than he made. And he, he's going to try to tough out this season. But that's what it's going to be. His back is not going to miraculously heal over the next 48 hours or over the next two weeks. This is something that's going to linger uh, into March and into the NCAA tournament. And that's tough for Purdue because they need him to be good. Hummel played that game at Iowa after missing the previous three with those back issues. Meanwhile, Raymar Morgan has missed the last three games for Michigan State, uh, may or may not play Tuesday in West Lafayette. What does Michigan State miss without him on the floor? He's just the best all-around player. I mean, Kalen Lucas is the guy who might win the Big Ten Player of the Year award, and he might be an All-American. Uh, but you asked Tom Izzo, and I did when I was up there a couple of weeks ago. Raymore Morgan is their best player. They need him on the court. Obviously, been battling uh, pneumonia over the past few weeks. Hasn't played, but he uh, did practice yesterday, and I suspect he will play at Purdue. But again, and this was the concern Tom had when I was when I was up there a couple of weeks ago. Okay, he's back now, but what's his conditioning like? How many minutes can he really play? If you miss this much, miss much practice time, what's your skill set like? How, you know, how, how much of your skills diminished uh, while you haven't been playing with the basketball the past couple of weeks? So all of these things um, are concerned, and I don't think that this is the type of atmosphere or type of game where he comes in, plays 28 minutes, goes for 20 and 8 or anything like that. It's going to be a, a, slow, um, a slow process getting him, A, back in shape, and B, back up to the player he was before. But if you know, this game isn't isn't you know a key for Michigan State. Yes, it's against Purdue, and yes, it's a big conference game. But you know, they're ten and two in the league. They're going to win the Big Ten, regardless of how this uh, this this particular game goes. I suspect. But um, you know, in terms of March and the NCAA tournament, they need Raymond Morgan healthy and effective, or else they can't be what they want to be. And what they want to be is a Final Four team. Yeah, they do. What has certainly helped them, at least the last few games without Morgan, has been the development of Delvon Rowe. Uh, will be a very interesting matchup, him against Jawan Johnson at Purdue. Gary, what do you think the key is in this matchup between Purdue and Michigan State, aside from the two guys that are coming back from their injuries and sicknesses? Well, I mean, Purdue's going to have the home court advantage, and, and that's a big deal. Um, but, I, you know, I think the key is, honestly, is what does Hummel look like early? Um, if he is good, Purdue's really good. You go look at their record, um, you know, and, and look at their start looking at their losses. They are games that he has either missed or hasn't played well in by and large. When he's good, they're good. When he's not, they're not. And so uh, the problem becomes, uh, you know, is, is he effective? Can't he make shots? Can't not play pain free, but just deal with the pain while he's playing? Uh, they're going to have a tough time trying to beat a team as talented as Michigan State unless he's really good. But, you know, you, you, know, you never know when you're in your home building how far you can ride that momentum just from the crowd and stuff and whether that can take you, uh, you know, well into the second half, and then you just try to pick one off. All right, Gary Parrish, thank you very much, sir. We'll talk to you real soon. Thanks, sir. All right, folks, for more on this game, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. For Gary Parrish, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.